click subscribe for update video every day. You, Hip Hop Mogul Drive. Trey was just three years old in 1968, when Sennheiser developed what still stands as the number one selling headphone model of all time. The MD-414. Of course, Dre was too young to take much interest in headphones back then. But we be willing to bet he was hustling for a pair by age 15. When in 1979 Sony introduced the Walkman and portable headphones became all the rage. By the time the rap star and record producer was 25, headphone sales had hit a plateau, and they would cruise that straight away for another 15 years before the good drive, along with Jimmy Iovine and Monster Products, set off what can only be described as a headphone revolution with the launch of Beats. It has been over six years since that day, and headphones are still hotter than ever before. You, Sennheiser has always kept busy developing next-gen tech in the music recording and playback fields, and consistently produces some of the best microphones and headphones the world has ever heard. But at WASNT until recently that Sennheiser started making serious stabs at style. Hey, when something as big as Beats comes along and you realize there as a whole generation of young listeners that like their headphones stylish and their bass big. You either hip-hop aboard the bus, or take a hike to obscurity evil. You enter Sennheiser's latest effort. The Urbanite headphones. The name says it all. Really, the Urbanite are designed to offer the style and boosted bass today, as young listeners are into. But, staying true to Sennheiser form, without sacrificing overall sound quality, it sounds like a simple idea, and Sennheiser ISNT the first to have it. But the Urbanite execute it better than any pair of headphones we they heard before, and totally earn their $200 asking price. When folks get their ears on these headphones and realize it as possible to have bumping bass, without otherwise sacrificing balance, or giving up detail, clarity, dynamics and musicality, they all never turn back. You, the Urbanite S box somehow looks like it is going to fly off shelves. Especially at those headphone stores you see in all the airports these days. It S larger than it needs to be. And that S good because it S going to call attention to itself. The image on the front. Though well done. D-O-E-S-N T adequately impart the sense of awesome. Or the new headphone smell you get when yo